this is an interesting case from the emergency room, uh, a patient with abdominal pain, a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. Uh, as we scan through the liver, we see some air in the biliary tree. We know it's biliary because it's very central as opposed to portal venous air, which tends to be peripheral and non-dependent. Uh, this is centered around the portal hepatis. Uh, we also see that the stomach is significantly distended with large fluid level. There's some distended small bowel loops here, which also demonstrate air fluid levels. <clears throat> and as we come down into the pelvis, we see the uh, site and causal obstruction, which is here in the distal ilium, where there is a large rim calcified and centrally calcified calculus, um, which is obstructing the small bowel. So the and the bowel distal to that calculus is collapsed, as we can see here in the right flank. Uh, so this is a nice example of a gallstone ileus, um, where the classic triad of findings, which includes air in the biliary tree, small bowel obstruction, and a large obstructing calculus in its typical location in the distal ilium. Uh, the typical site is about two feet from the ileocecal valve, which is the narrowest point of the ilium. And uh, the impaction of the stone at this level results in small bowel obstruction because the stone has entered the uh, intestinal tract because of the formation of a fistula between the biliary tree and the duodenum. So gallstone ileus.